Right now, remember Susan Rice? She is back in the news again. Maybe not for the last time. This morning, President Trump tweeted this. Susan Rice, the former national security advisor to President Obama, is refusing to testify before a Senate subcommittee next week on allegations of unmasking Trump transition officials. Not good! Exclamation point. Susan Rice she says she's declining to testify because the invitation wasn't backed by the subcommittee's top Democrat, Sheldon Whitehouse, and for reasons of separations of powers. The question is, is she hiding anything? Joshua Galper is a Democratic strategist. He joins us tonight to explain. Mr. Galper, it's, look, we've spent the last five months hearing from Democrats. We need to know more. Let's get it all out in the open. Let's have an investigation. Here's an opportunity for, the, for Susan Rice to come and explain herself. And she's declining. It's hard to see why. Look, Tucker, uh, I would, I would uh, explain this this way. Um, let's look at the lit larger context here. This is an investigation into the interference uh, by Russia in the 2016 election, and that is what this subcommittee uh, hearing is about, that she's been invited to by Senator Graham um, and that Senator Whitehouse disagreed with. Uh, already, as you look at how the subcommittee is coming, uh, this panel is coming together, they have Sally Yates, the former acting attorney general of the United States, and James Clapper, the former uh, director of national intelligence, already testifying. Um, so those were agreed to by both uh, the chair and the ranking member, uh, Senator Whitehouse, the ranking member. Uh, she was invited just uh, at the last moment uh, to come, and it was only an invitation that was extended by Senator Graham, the, the chairman. Uh, she is declining based on uh, her reasons as stated in the letter from her lawyer, but I can understand why. Let's start with the facts. One, wait, wait, uh, there, I'm, wait I'm totally confused. So, what, she didn't get invited by enough people, so she's not coming? I, I'm, I'm totally confused. It, I mean, it, she's it, not going to be questioned just by Republicans on oh, the well, she, committee. She won't be uh, questioned by just uh, by Republicans, but. Uh, the way that this investigation is being constructed by the chair and by the ranking member, that's a bipartisan uh, team putting this thing together, is that they've got two witnesses uh, who are coming who have firsthand experience with what happened in the 2016 uh, election as, as to Russian interference. Uh, when, when Senator Whitehouse looks at uh, Susan Rice as a witness, uh, he sees her being brought on as a diversionary tactic. It's like a shell game at a carnival. Uh, where instead of focusing on facts that the two witnesses who actually have first-hand experience have, she was a, a row behind and can't contribute the way that the two, uh, the two witnesses who've already I'm been sorry, invited I'm, I'm trying are. To stay, I'm trying to stay calm here. You never want to get upset about you know, a congressional or Senate committee hearing. I, I can't believe we're having this discussion, by well, the way. No, I can't either because for months I have sat in this chair while Democrats get all huffy about how we need more information. Susan Rice was at the very center of this question by her own description in the media. She said, I went to the intel agencies, asked for this information, asked for a greater, to be a, a greater degree of specificity, the names included in this intel, about Russia's interference into the election. She's I, a central figure here by her own description. So why in the world would she not come before Republicans and Democrats in the Senate and answer simple questions? I think you just said it yourself. Her job is to talk to the intelligence agencies, the intelligence community, to gather information, to evaluate it, and figure out what, what to do with it vis-a-vis -vis the president. She was not there uh, creating those intelligence reports. The head of the, DN the, the DNI uh, is that person who uh, all of that rolled up to. So I would not say that she was an integral figure or a central figure, uh, and I'm not sure that she would say that either. Are you being serious? I mean, that's what she just said. See, I guess part of what baffles me is, when she has an opportunity to go on a deeply sympathetic television show, all of which are hosted by people who voted for her boss, and get softball questions again and again and again, she has no problem talking about any of this. She just went on a rival cable channel and said, yeah, I asked for the identities of the people in, in the intel, which were redacted. I asked for them. That bears directly on, among other things, the General Flynn question. How did his identity wind up in the press illegally, et cetera, et cetera? So, so why Tucker, wouldn't that's she just exactly the diversion questions? we're talking about here. That is the diversion. That's not a diversion. That's it's a crime that was committed. Uh, it, it was not a crime. It was within her uh, duties as national security advisor. I'm not alleging advisor. she committed a crime. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, you misunderstand I, I think me. I'm not saying for she committed a crime. I'm not, I'm not alleging that she committed a crime. I am stating that somebody did. Someone in the federal government committed a crime when they leaked the name of a private citizen who'd been spied on by his own government, in this case, General Flynn. That's a crime. It's a felony, actually, to do that, as you know. We know that happened. And she was, I'm not saying she did it, 
but she was privy to the information that was then leaked to the press. Why is that a diversion? That's the whole center of this thing. It, it's not the center of this thing because even the title of the subcommittee hearing is about Russian interference in the 2016 election. What you're talking about is something that she did as part of her job and asking a follow-up question no, no, but, and wanting to know more information but about the intel who might have possibly colluded with Russian officials uh, to, from the Trump campaign. Uh, to potentially swing this election. Well, but the intel that we're talking about derived from an investigation into Russian interference. I mean, that's the story. I mean, look, it doesn't, that is the story. It doesn't that's kind the of prove, part of the I guess, the partisan point that Sheldon Whitehouse wants to make. But for my part, I actually am agnostic on this. I don't know what happened. I just want to know more. But I know it's always wrong when American citizens are spied upon without their knowledge by their government and then destroyed by the leak of the intel that results. That is just wrong. I would think, as a Democrat and a civil libertarian, you would agree. Why is that a distraction to get to the bottom of? I don't understand that at all. Because the, the investigation that they are undertaking at that subcommittee, and by the way, this, this is not... Um, unique to this particular subcommittee. We have been bogged down in uh, a certain amount of partisanship, slowness about the investigations uh, writ large, partly because we're not focusing on the central issues. For instance, why don't we have Trump campaign officials being called upon uh, to testify about what they knew, who they were talking to from the Russian government during the course of well, the election? I think, that, I think they have been. I mean, I well, think I, I think there have been reports that, that there, there's been, there, there have not been certain people talked to, like in the Senate Intelligence Committee. Look, I think committee. anyone asked by the committee ought to come and testify before it. But, I mean, that's, you're not making an argument against having Susan Rice come, are you? Why is it bad to have more information from a, a player in this drama? You can't tell me Susan Rice isn't one of the most plugged-in people in Washington under the last administration when all of this occurred. So, like, why wouldn't you talk to her? That would be crazy. Because we already have two witnesses who have the answer. Why not she, have another? I don't believe she's going to have the answer. She was a well, robot. Let's in the ask White House. her questions. I mean, she's not afraid to talk. She's on TV all the time, you know, making up stories about Benghazi or talking about, you know, pulling the redactions off names. Like, I, I just don't get it. Why not more? Because I don't think those are the questions that are going to come her way. I think that it's, it's been clear right. that it's going to be about unmasking. That uh, is a side okay. issue and to the central issue. And Democrats don't want to talk about that. I get it. Okay. I'm beginning to think this is a little more partisan than you guys are presenting it. Uh, no, I, I, well, you know, for, for my, speaking for myself, I don't think that this issue of declining the invitation is a partisan act. It's something yeah. that I can understand why she's doing it for the very reasons I've just yeah. discussed. All right. Michael, thanks for joining us.